So today I'm going to show you how to make some aluminum hydroxide. Now making aluminum hydroxide is extremely easy at home. All you need is some potassium alum. Now what's potassium alum? The normal alum which should be available in your homes. It's just of it's just potassium aluminum sulfate bind, bonded with some hydro, um, dihydrogen oxide, which is water atoms. Next up, you need some sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda. So all of these things should be easily available at home. Now, the next thing is powdered. So you have to powder the crystals of this. I mean, you can just take a hammer or smash them. And sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, should be already in the in its amorphous form so the reaction is this when you basic uh, when you when you add, basically add these both these both um, react to form some aluminum hydroxide potassium sulfate and so, um, sodium carbonate plus some carbon dioxide so among of these all four substances the aluminum hydroxide is the greatest involved. Sorry, actually, the it's aluminum hydroxide should have a formula ALOH twice. So, you get this in the greatest volume, and you need not to worry about the other things because this will be in, a ve in very small amounts. This will also be in very small amounts, and carbon dioxide will al already escape from the container. Now, let's come to the process of the further purification of it so for further purification you can add something um, a liquid which cannot dissolve aluminum hydroxide and that's exactly ethanol now you need not to go outside and buy separate ethanol for this you can also just use your hand sanitizer because it also has 80% concentration of ethanol now you have to add 10 milliliters of it no matter how much you are using unless you are not using one liter of that solution so you can add 10 milliliter if on average and the aluminum hydroxide should precipitate out it i mean not precipitate it should settle out of the solution and sedimentate now you can either collect it by evaporation sieving or distillation i would actually recommend some sieving with some sand fine sand because it's the most efficient method to do it you can also go for evaporation which is even more efficient than that one and you're done next up i'm going to tell you what are going to be the ratios of this so pa actually attributes potassium alum which is just potassium aluminum sulfate alum normal alum and baking soda is noted by bs so the ratio of both of these should be 2 is to 3. Now why 2 is to 3? It's because um, if you're using it, it in aqueous solution, most of the baking soda is going to dissolve and create a perfect, perfect area and the perfect ratio is just 2 is to 3. And if you're doing it in an aqueous solution using this ratio, then you should see some carbon dioxide bubbles. Now, I did this and I got some really good results and I'm going to show you how they look. Now, if you have done all the things correctly, you should see something like this. Something which resembles milk. Now, let me, uh, let me clear the fact that even if you leave it for over 12 hours, you still, the reaction is, will be still continuing because the left alum doesn't immediately react. It's... It's going to be a lot more beneficial if you do the reaction in some boiling hot water. Yeah, so you're going to get the reaction somewhat fast in over five hours. I'll, I really recommend you to dip it under some hot water for much efficiency. Now you should end up something uh, with something like looking like this. Okay. Now, if you're going with the sedimentation method of adding 10 milliliters of ethanol to the solution it should somewhat look like this you can clearly see some really really crystal clear water at the top and that aluminum hydroxide settling at the bottom if i shake this a little bit yeah it all merges up and just let it sediment uh, decantate for a second and slowly moves to the bottom now 
this uh, this uh, i actually like the way it looks this way so i didn't go with the um, separation method i just sh uh, did this to show you all how it's going to look when you separate it now make sure that the that the, the water you're using is not too cold otherwise it will it's literally gonna take you 12 hours to complete the reaction um, i mean i think there will be still some um, reactants reacting in this container now this is how to make some aluminum sulfate at your home using no extra materials only the materials which could be easily available at your homes now I have a bunch of other stuff so go check them out thank you I really didn't record the process while making it so I didn't really upload it and I think that you all guys will be fine with the explanation in, on my copy um, if it's not helpful do comment it below Bye.